200 civil engineering multiple choice questions in building materials. Part 3. Welcome to CivTech Simplified. This video is part 3 of our ongoing Building Materials MCQ Civil Engineering Masterclass, where we're covering a total of 200 carefully selected multiple choice questions, MCQs, to support civil engineers in preparing for competitive exams. In this episode, we'll go through questions 101 to 150, presenting 50 exam-relevant multiple-choice questions on building materials. Each question is followed by a clearly highlighted correct answer to ensure smooth and effective learning. Introduction This video is presented to you by engineer Mohammed Imran Aziz a practicing professional civil engineer with over 20 years of professional experience in the field. If you're looking for basic concepts, important definitions, and foundational understanding, we recommend watching Part 1 first. Watch here. MCQs, Part 3. 101. The silica in Portland cement should be A. 10 to 20 percent B. 20 to 25 percent, C, 25 to 40 percent, choice D, 40 to 60 percent. Correct option, B, 20 to 25 percent. 102. The dry process of mixing is usually employed in the manufacture of Portland cement when the raw material is A, blast furnace slag, B, chalk, C, clay, D, all of these. Correct option, A, blast furnace slag. 103. The clinker is formed at a temperature of A, 500 degrees Celsius, B, 1000 degrees Celsius, C, 1200 degrees Celsius, D, 1500 degrees Celsius. Correct option, D, 1500 degrees Celsius. 104. The amount of gypsum, usually, added in the manufacture of cement is A. 0.1 to 0.5 percent B. 0.5 to 1 percent C. 1 to 2 percent 3 percent D. 3 to 5 percent Correct option C. 1 to 3 percent 105th Gypsum is added in the manufacture of Portland cement A. While mixing the raw materials B during burning in the rotary kiln, C, at the beginning of grinding the clinker, D, at the end of grinding the clinker into powder. Correct option, D, at the end of grinding the clinker into powder. 106. Gypsum is added in the manufacture of Portland cement in order to A, shorten the setting time of cement, B, lengthen the setting time of cement, C, Decrease the burning temperature. D. Decrease the grinding time. Correct option. B. Lengthen the setting time of cement. 107. The cementing property in cement is mainly due to A. Lime. B. Silica. C. Iron oxide. D. Alumina. Correct option. A. Lime. 108. The setting and hardening of cement paste is mainly due to the hydration and hydrolysis of A. Tricalcium silicate B. Dicalcium silicate C. Tricalcium aluminate D. All of these Correct option D. All of these 109. The greater the percentage of tricalcium silicate in the cement, the better will be the cement. A. Correct B. Incorrect. Correct option. A. Correct. 110. The compound responsible for the initial setting of cement is A. Tricalcium aluminate. B. Tetracalcium alumino ferret. C. Both. A. And B. D. None of these. Correct option. C. Both. A. And B. 111. The ultimate strength of cement is provided by A. Silica B. Dicalcium silicate C. 
Tricalcium silicate. D. Tricalcium aluminate. Correct option. B. Dicalcium silicate. 112. A good quality cement should have higher percentage of A. Silica. B. Free lime. C. Dicalcium silicate. D. Tricalcium silicate. Correct option. D. Tricalcium silicate. 113. The strength of white cement is that of ordinary cement. A equal to B less than C greater than. Correct option. B less than. 114. The percentage of the slag component of Portland slag cement varies from A 10 to 40 percent, B 40 to 70 percent, C 70 to 80 percent, D 80 to 90 percent. Correct option, B, 40 to 70 percent. 115. The rapid hardening Portland cement has a A, lower heat of hydration, B, higher heat of hydration, C, lower shrinkage coefficient, D, higher shrinkage coefficient. Correct option, B, higher heat of hydration, and D, higher shrinkage coefficient. 106. The initial setting of cement is caused due to A. Dicalcium silicate B. Tricalcium silicate C. Tricalcium aluminate D. Tricalcium aluminoferrite Correct option C. Tricalcium aluminate 117. The rapid hardening Portland cement is obtained by A. Grinding the clinker to a high degree of fineness B. Adding calcium sulfate to the mixture. C. Adding gypsum after grinding. D. Burning the mixture at a lower temperature. Correct option. A. Grinding the clinker to a high degree of fineness. 118. The fineness of cement is tested by A. Air permeability method. B. Le Chatelier method. C. Vicot's apparatus. D. All of these. Correct option. A. Air permeability method. 119. The soundness of cement is tested by A. Air permeability method. B. Le Chatelier method. C. Vicat's apparatus. D. All of these. Correct option. B. Le Chatelier method. 120th. VCAT's apparatus is used to determine the A. Initial setting time of cement B. Final setting time of cement C. Normal consistency of cement D. All of these Correct option D. All of these 121st. A good Portland cement when tested for fineness, the percentage of residue left after sieving in 90 micron is sieve should not exceed 10%. A. True. B. False. Correct option. A. True. 122nd. Le Chatelier method is used to determine A. Initial setting of cement. B. Fineness of cement. C. Soundness of cement. D. Normal consistency of cement. Correct option. C. Soundness of cement. 123. The expansion of cement should not exceed for any type of Portland cement. A. 5 mm. B. 10 mm. C. 15 mm. D. 20 mm. Correct. Option. B. 10 mm. 124. The normal consistency of Portland cement is about A. 10%. B. 15%. C. 20%, D, 25%. Correct option, D, 25%. 125. The initial setting time of rapid hardening cement should not be less than A, 30 minutes, B, 1 hour, C, 4 hours, D, 8 hours. Correct option, A, 30 minutes, 126. The final setting time of ordinary cement should not be more than A. 
2 hours, B, 4 hours, C, 8 hours, D, 19 hours. Correct option, D, 19 hours. 127. The addition of pozzolana to Portland cement causes A. Less heat of hydration B. Increase in shrinkage C. Decrease in permeability D. All of these Correct option D. All of these 128. The rate of hydration and hydrolysis of cement depends upon its A. Soundness B. Fineness C. Setting time. D. Tensile strength. Correct option. B. Fineness. 129. The compressive strength of ordinary cement is less than its tensile strength. A. Right. B. Wrong. Correct option. B. Wrong. 130. The percentage of the residue left after sieving good Portland cement in 90 micron sieve should not exceed A. 5% B. 10% C. 20% D. 30% Correct option B. 10% 131. The expansion in Portland cement can be tested by A. Fineness test B. Soundness test C. Setting time test D. Normal consistency test Correct option. B. Soundness test. 132. The specific surface, in square centimeters per gram, of a good Portland cement should not be less than A. 500. B. 1100. C. 2250. D. 3200. Correct option. C. 2250. 133. The expansion of Portland cement is caused by A. Free lime B. Magnesia C. Silica D. Both B. and C. Correct option D. Both B. and C. 134. The compressive strength of a good Portland cement and standard sand mortar after three days of curing should not be less than A. 7 meganewtons per square meter B. Meganewtons per square meter. C. 17.5 meganewtons per square meter. D. 21 meganewtons per square meter. Correct option. B. Meganewtons per square meter. 135. The sand is mixed with lime mortar to A. Reduce cost. B. Reduce setting time. C. Improve strength. D. Prevent shrinkage and cracking. Correct option. D. Prevent shrinkage and cracking. 136. Which of the following statement is correct? A. The sand used for making mortar should be fine. B. The rounded grains of sand produce a strong mortar. C. The mortar made with coarse sand is stronger than the one made with fine sand. D. All of the above. Correct option. C. The mortar made with coarse sand is stronger than the one made with fine stand. 137. For RCC construction, the maximum size of coarse aggregate is limited to A. 10 mm B. 15 mm C. 20 mm D. 25 mm Correct option. D. 25 mm 138. The bulking of sand with addition of water up to about 5% by weight. A. Increases. B. Decreases. Correct option. A. Increases. 139. Concrete is strong in tension, but weak in compression. A. True. B. False. Correct option. B. False. 140. Consolidation of concrete should proceed. A. Before mixing. B. Before placing. C. Immediately after mixing. D. Immediately after placing. Correct option. D. Immediately after placing. 141. The workability of cement concrete can be improved by A. Increasing the quantity of cement. B. 
increasing the proportion of coarse aggregate. C. Increasing the quantity of sand. D. All of the above. Correct option. A. Increasing the quantity of cement. 142. The durability of concrete is proportional to A. Sand content. B. Water cement ratio. C. Cement aggregate ratio. D. Aggregate water ratio. Correct option. C. Cement aggregate ratio. 143. The maximum water cement ratio for durable concrete is A. 0.2 B. 0.4 C. 0.6 D. 0.8 Correct option? D. 0.8 144. The durability of cement concrete is usually improved by A. Increasing the quantity of coarse sand B. Increasing the quantity of cement C. Decreasing the water-cement ratio D. Decreasing the proportion of fine aggregate Correct option B. Increasing the quantity of cement 145. The strength of cement concrete increases with A. Increase in the size of aggregate B. Increase in the temperature of water of curing C. Increase in the size of aggregate D. All of the above Correct option D. All of the above 146. The density of concrete Yan, with increase in the size of aggregate A. Does not change B. Increases C. Decreases Correct option B. Increases 147. The strength of cement concrete is directly proportional to water-cement ratio A. Agreed B. Disagree Correct option A. Agreed 148. The shrinkage of concrete A. Is proportional to contents of cement B. Is directly proportional to water contents at the time of mixing C. Increase with increase in the percentage of concrete D. All of the above Correct option C. Increase with increase in the percentage of concrete 149. The shrinkage of concrete Its bond strength A. Does not change B. Increases C. Decreases Correct option B. Increases 150. The shrinkage of ordinary concrete is about minus A. 0.1 to 0.3 millimeters per meter B. 0.3 to 0.6 millimeters per meter C. 0.6 to 1.8 millimeters per meter 1.2 millimeters per meter D. 1.2 to 2.1 millimeters per meter Correct option B. 0.3 to 0.6 millimeters per meter If you found this helpful, please like and share with your network. Drop your questions below. And subscribe to CivTech. Simplified for practical civil engineering made easy. Thank you.